Seminar topics included in this video are Living robots built using frog cells Self-healing living concrete Fast charging batteries Self-driving trucks Artificial neurons on silicon chips Today, the world is witnessing many advancements in artificial intelligence and in robotics. Scientists and engineers are working to build robots that look like humans and even developing robots that are much more intelligent than humans. Apparently, all these are machines with mechanical components and complex algorithms. But, have you ever thought of a robot that has life? Yes, the world's first living robot has already been created and they are named as Xenobots. World's first living and self-healing robot, Xenobots, which are made up of living stem cells from frogs. Xenobots can automatically repair themselves, self-healing from an injury. Walk and swim, survive for weeks without food, work cooperatively in groups. Xenobot is named after the African clawed frog, Xenopus levis, from which they take the stem cells. Size and Structures of Xenobots These living robots are of size less than a millimeter, just about 0.04 inches wide. With this size, it is small enough to travel inside the human cells. Unlike traditional robots, which are made up of any plastic or metal, Xenobots are entire of organic and cellular material, and look more like a tiny blob of moving pink flesh. As of now, this living machine can't reproduce or evolve. These are programmable organisms. How Xenobots are a better choice? With all those shining gears, robotic arms, and other mechanical components, traditional robots can produce harmful ecologically, health side effects, and adds additional pollution. Xenobots, on the other hand, are living biological machines that are more environmentally friendly and safer for human health. These living robots can achieve things that typical robots cannot. Applications of living robots 1. Help clear human arteries by scraping out plaque. 2. Collect microplastics from the oceans. 3. Searching out for radioactive waste. 4. Some xenobots have a hole in their center, which could potentially be used to transport drugs and medicines inside human bodies. 5. Help researchers to know more about cell biology. 6. Will play a major role in the future advancement of human health and longevity. 7. Could create an impact on regenerative medicine. What is self-healing concrete? In the simplest terms, self-healing concrete is a concrete with the capacity to repair its own cracks and imperfections. Self-healing concrete requires no human intervention to remain in tip-top shape. Over the years, scientists and engineers around the globe have experimented with various healing agents to perfect self-healing concrete. Some of these healing agents have been bacteria, sodium silicate, and even fungus. Objectives of Self-Healing Concrete 1. Enhancing the durability and compressive strength of concrete. 2. The formation of cracks in concrete structures is unavoidable because of the deterioration of its service life, various loads and non-load components. 3. The cracked area may be difficult to access and may need to be rebuilt. Advantages of Self-Healing Concrete 1. This concrete has comparatively much lower permeability, greater durability, and stress-carrying capacity than conventional concrete. 2. It can be applied to existing buildings in the form of spray, which can reduce the overall repair and maintenance costs of the buildings. 3. This is an environmentally friendly technique because the carbon dioxide produced is prevented due to the low use of concrete. Disadvantages of Self-Healing Concrete 1. The cost of self-healing concrete is double that of conventional concrete. 2. The growth of any bacteria is not good in any atmosphere. 3. Skilled labor is required. Applications of self-healing concrete 1. Self-healing concrete can be used for sectors such as tunnel lining, structural basement walls, highways, bridges, concrete floors and marine structures. 2. This is new technology, can provide ways to durable roads. 3. High-strength buildings, with more bearing capacity. Conclusion. A self-healing concrete, 
has the capability to increase the durability of various building materials, giving them higher strength, with greater bearing capacity, and extending the building life. Advances in mobile devices and electric vehicles have pushed battery technology to the breaking point. New advances in battery design are needed to meet today's energy demands. Batteries have always been a critical design feature for everything from handheld tools to computers and mobile phones and from uninterruptible power supplies to satellites. Laboratories were working on upgrading battery technology Electronics technologies continue to advance more quickly, requiring ever-increasing amounts of energy and power. Soil-state batteries Although the current industry is focused on lithium-ion, there is a shift into solid-state battery design. Solid-state batteries could be game-changer for electric vehicles, by storing more energy, charging faster, and offering greater safety than liquid lithium-ion batteries. How solid-state batteries are different from liquid lithium-ion batteries Solid-state batteries use thin layers of solid electrolytes, which carry lithium ions between electrodes. Lithium-ion batteries use liquid electrolytes, and have separators, that keep the positive electrode from coming in contact with the negative electrode. What are the advantages of solid-state batteries? They are likely to be safer, and more stable than liquid Li-ion batteries, in which the electrolyte is volatile, and flammable at high temperatures. They having increased stability, means faster charging, and reduces the need for bulky safety equipment. They can hold more energy than liquid Li-ion batteries, helping speed up a switch from gasoline vehicles to electric vehicles, because drivers would not need to stop as often to charge their cars. Why is it difficult to mass-produce a solid-state batteries? Car makers and technology companies have produced solid-state Li-ion battery cells one at a time in a lab, but have been unable so far to scale that up to a mass production. It is hard to design a solid electrolyte that is stable, chemically inert, and still a good conductor of ions between the electrodes. They are expensive to fabricate, and are prone to cracking, because of the brittleness of the electrolytes, when they expand and contract during use. The future of energy storage. The race is on. With electric vehicle sales skyrocketing, the need for high density, long life, and low cost batteries, means the competitive landscape, for solid state batteries is becoming crowded. This is great news for the research and development of these batteries, since that's what's needed to get solid-state batteries onto the market quickly. Conclusion With small cells, already proving the higher capabilities needed from solid-state batteries, it's only a matter of time, before the manufacturing processes fall into place, for larger batteries as well. Several companies, have suggested that, we'll see these batteries on the market, as early as next year for some, and by 2025 for others. Studies and analysis, suggesting that robots can potentially take our jobs. According to artificial intelligence experts, there is a 50% chance that machines can take over all human jobs in 120 years. But some fields are at greater risk than others. Let's focus on one big one, trucking. Truck drivers may be replaced by automated technology, as early as 2027. According to the researchers, artificial intelligence could be maneuvering trucks on the road, within the next decade. What are the benefits of self-driving trucks? 1. Autonomous trucking, promises to bring greater efficiency to the trucking market. 2. Autonomous trucks, could more easily travel during off-peak hours, helping to reduce traffic congestion, during the busiest times of the day. 3. Autonomous trucks could also bring big benefits in safety. 4. Autonomous vehicles could reduce the number of accidents. Although, autonomous truck technology isn't ready yet, they have a lot of potential to help make the roads safer. What are some of the drawbacks? One drawback is concern about truckers' jobs. Truckers are worried that, as the technology matures, more and more truckers will be replaced by computers. Other drawbacks include the technology itself, and the legal issues around insurance, and legal liability for accidents. Conclusion 
The technology is currently being tested, but it's unclear how long it would be before it really takes off. Even when it does, there are massive unresolved issues surrounding important questions. If an autonomous truck causes an accident, who is legally responsible? If an autonomous truck kills someone, who can be held accountable? These are unresolved issues that may take some time to sort out. Communication is fundamental to the very existence of all life. On a micro level, communication in our bodies occurs via neurons, which fire messages about 200 times per second. But when neurons become damaged, due to brain diseases and accidents, the results can be devastating. Researchers from the University of Bath in the UK, are designing silicon chips to replace damaged neurons. These chips could be used in implant, and medical devices, to treat a range of chronic diseases. What can silicon chips do? These chips will be used to pass signals between damaged nerve cells to treat chronic diseases like heart disease and Alzheimer's. For example, artificial neurons could be used to replace dysfunctional neurons in the brain to send accurate signals to the heart in the event of heart failure. These artificial neurons behave much in the same way as biological neurons. Moreover, they only require one billionth of the power of a microprocessor. This makes them extremely well suited for medical implants and bioelectronic devices. Why is this important? Because, damaged neurons cannot regenerate, artificial neurons represent a significant advancement in medical technology. Once implemented, the use of these silicon chips will impact the medical world at large. There will be greater opportunities for the development of smarter medical devices that can personalize the medical treatment of a large range of medical issues. Conclusion Making artificial neurons that respond to electrical signals from the nervous system has been a long-time goal in medicine. Challenges included designing the circuits and finding the parameters that make the circuits behave like real neurons. This research has been a big goal to achieve in the medical world, as it would cure chronic diseases, where neurons no longer function properly.